Today on Always Hungry, mm, we're making a moussaka. Where? In Greece. Let's go. Just got back from the olive grove. We're here at the press. Everyone's hungry. I'm gonna cook a little feast for the team, a little moussaka, and then we can get right back to the little press visit. First thing first, we have some beautiful eggplants here, some zucchinis and potatoes. We're gonna slice these up and we're gonna fry these in olive oil and uh, put them aside and we're gonna build our moussaka. So let's get started with the slicing. Voila. Boom. Next step, zucchini. And now, next step, we have a very hot grill in the back. We're gonna get these to fry in some olive oil. Salt. And then just flip those. All right, so we have our very hot grill. That's the sound you're looking for. And the goal here is just to kind of give them a quick, quick grill marks. And then we can put them aside on the paper until we assemble our moussaka. Time to flip the eggplants, let's check it out. That's exactly what you want, nice grill marks. All right, so our eggplants are beautifully grilled here. I have them on some, on some paper towels so they can get some more of that moisture absorbed. And now we're gonna do the same with the zucchini. There you go, all in there. Same thing, olive oil, be generous. Same with the salt. And now just get your hands in there. Make sure they're all nicely coated. And we are off to the grill again. Oh, she's hot. We have to work fast, guys. Work fast, guys. Flip those. Nicely colored. Perfect. All right, so everything is grilled now. The longest step is pretty much done. Next step, we'll be doing the ground beef and the tomatoes. I'm gonna keep the potatoes until the very end so they don't turn brown, they don't oxide. And then we're gonna be assembling this beautiful moussaka. Next step, we're gonna chop some red onions here. You could also use white onions, yellow onions, whatever you have. We're just gonna dice those finely. Since again, we have a grill, uh, I would be doing this in a pan usually, but all you do is use this as a pan instead. So I'm gonna just pretty much like throw all my onions in there. Next step, garlic. We're just gonna chop this roughly like that. Now a little salt to help the chopping. I'm happy with this, let's go. This can go right in the pan here. Beautiful. Next step, spices. Some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some cloves. But you know, I like to uh, do everything from scratch, so I have a microplane here. You can just get some cinnamon in there. So I reckon one stick should be good. Okay, nutmeg. So we have our spices in there, also black pepper here for sure. Now, obviously, our good friend, the salt. Olive oil in there as well. Look at that color. Also some fresh herbs and some fresh thyme here that's going in there. Because, you know, we are here at La Belle Excuse. We have some beautiful products. So we have this beautiful mountain oregano that's from here. Sprinkle some on top like this. There you go. Put this around there here. Mix everything nicely. Let that cook down slowly. We wanna get the onions very nice. So yeah, just kind of like mix everything up and then you can leave it cooked slowly. The goal is to get everything translucent. So you see the onion now is, and the garlic is like very nice and soft like this. It's been sweating, it's beautiful, it smells good. We can now add our minced beef. Like this, we're going chunks. All right, time for the crushed tomatoes. And here we go, we can let that cook for another five minutes and then our minced beef preparation will be good to go and we can start assembling. Time for a quick bechamel. I'm gonna get this pot to heat up. So for the bechamel, we're gonna use 100 grams of butter and 100 grams of flour. So cut this in half, that's 200 grams. 
and we can put this right into our pot here. There you go, so we let that melt, add the flour. I'm eyeballing this because, you know, I'm an expert, it's fine. And then we can just whisk in our flour, let that cook. That's called a roux. Well, time to add the milk. I want to go a bit at a time like this. Okay, so we have some nice bubbles in there. Now we can take it off the heat and we add our egg yolks, parm, and nutmeg. It's time to season this bad boy. And it's not a regular bechamel, it's like kind of like a, a mornay, which is bechamel, in which you add egg yolks and cheese. So first thing first, we're gonna do some black pepper in there. Some salt. And do some nutmeg as well. That's plenty of nutmeg, perfect. All right, so eggs here. And that's also gonna give us nice color once we, once we bake the, the moussaka. It's gonna give a nice little brown on the bechamel. And this is good to go. And now we have some beautiful Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, and grate some cheese in there. And now we just whisk in everything. Here we go. Bechamel, done. Pretty good. Okay, last step but not the least, I'm gonna do the potatoes because uh, you can do this in, in advance and keep them in water so don't, they don't turn brown. But for me, the best trick is to kind of like peel them, cut them and use them right away because then the, all that starch is gonna make that moussaka nice and thicken everything up. So best trick, like you do like a gratin au finois, peel, cut and use right away. So let's get it, let's do it. So obviously you could do this using a mandolin to have some nice and even slices. I'll just kind of like rip it like this with a knife. Obviously a sharp knife will make your life way easier. And it's time to assemble our moussaka. So uh, I'll just put a bit of olive oil at the bottom of this pan so that thing sticks. We can start layering. We're gonna do potatoes first here. And also remember you can also season between each steps. Now it's time to put this bad boy in the oven. I'm gonna put all the coal on one side so we can do indirect cooking. So let's get this thing open and we'll just hope for the best. Okay, finally, the moussaka is ready. And let's see this baby here. Oh yes. Oh, Billy. A perfect moussaka. And now before we cut in there, I know you guys wanna cut it right now, but we have to wait five minutes, 10 minutes. So it can rest, everything can kind of like chill, get back together. We're gonna cut some beautiful pieces and have some drinks, have some food, and life is good. All right, we're gonna cut this thing in some uh, little square pieces here. We're gonna probably do this here, this here. Yeah, that works. Let's get a nice middle piece, because you know what? We deserve it. Oh, mama. How beautiful is this? Sometimes I make some nice stuff, you know? Oh my God, this is so nice. And then, you know, because we are in Greece after all, right? So just a bit more here. Oh, Billy. Nice, freshy cracked pep to finish. All right, time for this moussaka, baby. Mmm. 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 It's too good to be eaten alone. Let's get the boys and the girls in here. Guys, who's hungry? Yamas. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. All right, let's eat, guys. Tell me about this moussaka. Mmm. 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 Hey! Yeah, good job guys.